Hey guys, it's Marty at Harry Robinson Buick GMC in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and you're watching Test Drive Tuesday. Today we have a red 2017 Buick LaCrosse with leather and navigation. It's got a 17% rebate right now, which on this car is around $7,000. Let's take a closer look at this car and see what all it comes with. trim on it looks really good good headlight design good front grille design we're going to jump in this car and see what all it has on the inside okay i see bose premium sound system so the sound system is going to sound really good in this car i've got memory power seats and a full power seat here leather on the inside And we also have the navigation maps uh, installed on this car with dual climate control and heated seats. You have three settings of heated seats. This is uh, showing three dots, so it's going to heat it up all the way as far as it can go. And if you need to turn it down, you can push it again to go to level two, push it again to go to level one, push it another time. When all the lights are off, it's completely off and no more heated seat. We've also got a, a new gear shifter that I'm going to demonstrate here in a moment. Uh, it's not one of the uh, mechanical gear shifters uh, from the previous models. Uh, this one's been digitized and is a lot easier to use. Can be a little confusing, but we're going to show you how to use that here in just a minute. I want to show you the instrument cluster right now. Uh, this is a uh, the center display is a digital. Uh, computerized um, speedometer uh, it'll show you the uh, digital number in the center and then the old-school analog on the outer edge um, and it is digital on the inside and you have some buttons on your steering wheel here to change the way this looks and the way this feels um, and these two inner displays here are actually digital they're little computer screens as well, but this on the outside, that's a needle, a mechanical needle that actually moves around, and these two over here are mechanical needles too. Uh, but this part from here to here is uh, digital screens um, that you can change the look and the feel uh, of, of what this displays and also what it looks like. We'll demonstrate that here in a moment as well. As far as the interior color, uh, we have what's called light neutral, and it's got a uh, almost black um, trim here with some really bright leather. Uh, that's where they get the name light neutral, and this color really pops up against that dark color and looks really good. Changes the overall feel and atmosphere inside this car because everything just seems to light up and be a lot brighter instead of some interior colors where everything is just black but everything seems to pop in here and looks really good looks good in the back seat as well lots of room back here too very spacious lots of room in the back seat okay right now i want to demonstrate how the uh gear shifter works here and i'm going to switch hands with the camera and I'm in a safe little spot here, so I should be able to do this without uh, any catastrophic failures. So first thing I'm going to do is push this little button over here on the side with my thumb. And then I'm going to pull back on it like a joystick um, and go into this drive connection right here. So I'm going to push this button over here with my thumb and then pull back. It takes me out of park and I'm now in drive mode and I can take my foot off the brake and start rolling forward just a little bit, apply the brake, come to a stop, and anytime I want to go back into park, I can just push this park button right here and it's got me back into park and I can take my foot off the brake and I won't roll off or go anywhere 
um, and if I want to go to neutral um, I push the button again and go straight forward I'm now in neutral if I want reverse I go up and I pull in and that gets me into reverse I can take my foot off the brake and start backing up I can check my backup camera make sure the coast is clear and come to a stop when I need to and push the park brake again and I'm not constantly tugging and pulling and and doing what we used to with gear shifters this one is a lot easier to use uh, doesn't fatigue the arm at all and as long as you remember to push the park button right here um, it just makes the whole thing a lot easier and it's just two simple movements forward in this way or straight back and if you accidentally bump it it doesn't do anything because you didn't push this button over here on the left it only does something if you push this down with your thumb and then you can see that you get something actually happening here so what that means is if somebody's fiddling around up here trying to move buttons up here or get something out of the cup holders if you accidentally bump that driving down the road nothing's going to happen um nothing bad is going to happen because nobody's pushing this button right here so it's safe it's reliable and it's super easy to use and we can demonstrate that further um on a on a test drive here on the lot so up here on the digital display i want to show you how to change uh, some of that um, with these controls right here on the steering wheel okay let's see what kind of settings we have in this uh, digital display instrument cluster i have this round shaped right here and this left arrow right here is always the menu and you can see right here a menu pops in and out on this digital display and then I simply use the uh, up and down arrows to navigate uh, down here to the little gear that is for options and then I push this little check mark right here to open that up and then I can push up and down to change what is I can change here there's the display theme so I'm going to hit the check mark to select that. And then I'm going to go to Touring. I have two options, Sport or Touring. I'm going to switch to Touring. And you can see that completely changes what the display looks like and the overall look and feel. So it's kind of neat when you get tired of looking at one thing, you can change it to another and it completely changes the driving experience and the overall look and feel. So I'm gonna do that again, switch it back to sport, and then I come back to this display right here. And then I can also show information that is being displayed from the phone right here, new calls coming in and that kind of thing. And I also have radio controls right here as well so that I can keep my eyes centered on the road and just glance down here instead of looking off over here so it just helps you keep focused and and your eyes closer to the road at all times so the digital display is real handy because you get a lot of different readouts um, you can check your station that you're on you can change the station from the steering wheel um, you can monitor your speed and all your instrument clusters and uh it just really helps keep your attention closer to the road instead of you know off over here like we do sometimes so that's the uh settings on the instrument cluster and um this is a 2017 buick lacrosse we have it on our website it is stock number 17129 in crimson red the regular msrp is 41 thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars right now we have a uh, 17 percent rebate on it through gm uh, that's about seven thousand dollars off uh, making the car 34 591 after rebate and you can test drive this today at harry robinson buick gmc and fort smith off of zero street right behind bowling world 
and just uh, come by or call 479 646 8600 and schedule a test drive. I know you're going to love this car. And thanks for watching Test Drive Tuesday.